My name is Juan Bosquiner. I'm a PhD student at the University of Akron, and I'm going to talk about diffusion and critical clarity threshold in novel reinforced fly ash concrete. Fly ash is a byproduct from several industries, such as coal power generation. This material has pozzolanic properties that, when combined with a highly alkaline solution, such as sodium hydroxide, forms a gel. This process, described in the figure, is known as geopolymerization. Using this process, concrete that generates up to 80% less CO2 emissions than the traditional ordinary Portland concrete can be obtained. For that reason, it is an eco-friendly solution to reduce the global greenhouse emissions. Due to the high strength requirements in the corrosion in the construction industry, metal reinforced concrete is used to provide higher strengths. However, due to the presence of this metal, corrosion phenomena has to be considered when designing the structure. This is because chloride ions, from, exa for, from example, the acing salts in roads and bridges, or in a marine environment, can attack the surface of this metal and cause corrosion, and lastly, the failure of the structure. For example, due to this corrosion, the structural maintenance costs are estimated to be around 4% of GPD for industrialized countries. Studying the diffusion mechanisms of the chloride ions can help in the reduction of these costs, as well as predicting lifetime in service. The corrosion mechanism of the reinforcement material embedded in concrete is induced by the chloride ions that reach the surface of the metal. So the ions will diffuse through the, con the concrete matrix till reach the passive layer form at high pHs and promote the passivity breakdown. These mechanisms have been studied for ordinary Portland concrete. However, there is still a lack of knowledge in the diffusion mechanisms for fly ash concrete. For that reason, the aim of this study is to model the chloride ingress, helping in the understanding of the chloride diffusion mechanisms through this novel material, and then determine the maximum concentration of chloride ions that promote the passivity breakdown. This concentration is known as chloride threshold. To determine the diffusion coefficient, fixed second law has been found to describe well the problem. Solving the equation, the concentration profile through the beam can be described at any time or any position. In this equation, the APP is the apparent diffusion coefficient that can be obtained indirectly of following the standard ASTM C1556, the chloride concentration profile measured experimentally allows the calculation of the diffusion coefficient. The experimental values, concentration of chlorides at different depths, uh, can allow the calculation of the diffusion coefficient uh, for each binder. Reinforced samples were then prepared to determine the chloride threshold via monitoring current density values obtained by linear polarization resistance. Once the current density reached a value of 1 microampere centimeter square, the rebar was extracted and the chloride concentration in the interface was measured. The optical microscopies with the associated chloride concentration are presented in the figure. The critical chloride concentration th threshold was found to be 0.76 weight percent of binder. This value is higher than ordinary Portland cement and it is useful to predict the service lifetime of the structure. For example, using the diffusion coefficient, the time to corrosion initiation can be predicted as the onset of corrosion, as we can see in the figure, will appear once the corrosion, the chloride threshold sorry, is reached. As a summary, the values obtained can be compared with previous results showing similar diffusion coefficients, but higher chloride corrosion threshold. These results in a better corrosion performance. The literature used for this study is presented here for your reference. Thanks for your attention.